You can go to the camp this year. <laughs> I know they are excited, all of, us, all of you. And of course, our coordinator is uh, Brother Edmar and Sister Pao. And we, I will be assisting, my husband will be assisting this year. And we are, of course, excited to have you there because uh, we, I just said, I don't know what's going to happen. I know we haven't talked to Pastor yet, but I'm sure it's something that's very good because we had a great time last year. Right? Amen. So now it's our giving time. Uh, if you need an envelope, uh, just raise your hands and the usher will come. The usher will come to you and give you the envelope. But I just want to read a scripture very familiar to all of us before we go and before we give. And uh, just want to prepare our hearts to give them to the Lord what belongs to Him. Remember this from 2 Corinthians 9, verse 6. Remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each man should give what he has decided in his heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion. For God loves a cheerful giver, and God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good works. Amen. Praise God. Thank you all for your words. Let's pray for our giving. Father, we thank you that indeed, Lord, you are good. Lord, we are here as your children, relying on your provisions because you are the great provider. And Lord, we know it is written in the Bible how you have prospered your people, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and even to us, Lord. Today, Lord God, we thank you. We are we are we are prospered by you, Lord, in many ways. We have the job today, Lord, because you have given us this job. And I pray, Lord, for those who are still looking for a job, Lord, that you would open doors of great opportunities for your children, Lord, and that you would provide a great job for those who are who are asking, Lord. And so, Lord, I speak your blessing upon your children, Lord, as we give, Lord. Bless this giving today and let it be used for the furtherance of your kingdom, Lord, so that many more souls will come to you, Lord God, as we use this finances wisely. I bless those who are in charge of those finances. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So, ushers, uh, the ushers will go around and give. And there's also a daily bread. Uh, if you want them, you can come here and
Hill on June 29th, that's Saturday, and our dear brother Ernesto uh, Caput and sister Ronald's front yard. So if you have something to donate, you start to pack them, and if you want to give your prize, you know that this will be for our camp uh, fundraising. This will be um, this will help um, you know um, uh, help for the finances in, our, in terms of finances. Uh, for those, especially for those who uh, are big families, and it's hard, right? So we're doing this to help uh, raise funds, funds for our camp this year in July. And you know what? Before you know it, it's already July. So please help. You are free to come. Just bring your stuff, and and we'll help. We'll work together in this. Amen. And there's also a snacks downstairs. You are welcome. If you have visitors, bring them downstairs. Amen. Please come. Amen. Are you blessed? Amen. Amen. Then let's stand up and let's praise the Lord. Amen. You have heard the word of God. When we praise God, it shakes things up. It breaks. You know, every circumstance, the not so good circumstance in your life, when we praise God, favors of God will come. You know, release uh, releases favor. So let's start praising God. Let's start applying the word of God that you have heard today. Amen. Amen. So let's praise God, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Father, we praise you, God. Lord, truly, oh God, you are good. You are great, Lord God. We declare your goodness, oh God, in our life, Lord. We declare, oh God, that you are. Protector of God, you are you provide for us, you are you, you are our, our provider, Lord God. Lord, Lord, you are our everything. Apart from you, oh God, we are nothing. But we thank God because you are always the same. Yesterday, today, and forever, Lord. Thank you, oh God, for reminding us, just like Saul and Silas, that Paul and Silas, oh God, when things of oh God is uh, hard for us, when we are in circumstance, Lord, when we are in prison, oh God. We shouldn't be a quiet, but a praise you, Lord God, because Lord, we, when we praise you, Lord God, your word says that you will shake things up, you will break doors, will broke the will break the doors open, Lord God, Lord. You will release the prisoners. There will be even salvation, Lord God, Lord. So let's declare, Lord God, let's help us, oh God, to practice it, oh God, in our life, Lord. I pray, God, that you cover us, oh God, with your precious blood. Seal it, oh God, those words that, that we have heard this afternoon, oh God. Seal it with your precious blood, Lord. And Lord, write it in the tablets of our hearts, oh God. That when circumstance have comes, oh God, Lord, we will praise you, oh God, Lord. And you will release blessings and favor and healing, oh God, Lord. Father, we thank you so much for your word, oh God, Lord. Truly, it is alive and active. It penetrates into our dividing soul and spirit, oh God, Lord. And thank you for your word, oh God, that it encourages us all the time, Father. And now to him, and now church, the Lord, uh, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face to you toward you and give you peace. And again, church, you are blessed coming here. You will be more blessed coming going home in the mighty name of Jesus. And now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than we all ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us. To him who is faithful to keep you from falling and will order your steps and he will give you wisdom. To him who sits on the throne and the Lamb of God be praise and honor and glory and power and forever and ever. And all God's people say, Amen. Amen. Amen.